Hi everyone, Sonia here, and you are watching Pouring with Sonia. So yesterday I had my grown-up kids over, <laughs> and we did some paint pouring on rocks and had some pizza, and it was just a fun family painting day. And when I went to clean everything up last night, I noticed... <laughs> Um, so we did a lot of rocks. We paint poured on rocks and I noticed there was three rocks we missed in the midst of all the chaos of all the painting of all the just stuff everywhere. There's three rocks left. So I thought I would finish up those three rocks and maybe, um, use up the rest of my liquid gold, uh, cell activator because I'm getting ready to leave on vacation for three weeks and that will never be good by the time I get back. So the cell act activator with the Australian flow trawl, <clears throat> it'll last like two, three days. Paints will last longer, but the, the cell activator that makes all that beautiful lacing, that doesn't last as long. I don't know why. It just doesn't seem to give me anyways, the effects that I want if I wait beyond that time. So I thought I'd try and use it up before I left. And I know some of the colors my son really wanted to get was purple, red, orange, and yellow. And he was using a dioxinine purple, which when you mix it with your pouring medium, it you know, it looks lighter. But by the time it dries, it really does dry that really dark or, or the color that's on the tube. And dioxinine purple, it's like super dark. It's almost like it's a great contrast color. It's almost like a... A black you know what I mean like I think of a what is it a Payne's gray or an indigo blue is a color that dries very very dark and so I I think it's a comparable contrast color comparable to black so that's what the dioxane purple did it dried a little dark so I'm going to try today with some blacrylics violet just a real basic purple but I also added some iridescent purple and some color art pigment to that to just really make that color pop. And then I have some Joe Sonia Yellow Deep that I added some color art pigments to. Again, I added color art pigments in a similar shade to all of my paint colors just to bring a little bit of pop, pop to the colors because I have another student grade paint here. I have three student grade paints. And so your pigment's not going to be the Blacrylic Fire Red Pint, or Fire Red, sorry, isn't going to give me a super deep pigment, but by the time I just put just a dab of the Color Art pigment in there, it just transforms it into this deep, luscious, beautiful color. And then I have Creative Inspirations Orange Yellow, which is another student grade paint that I just added orange peel to, the um, Color Art Orange Peel. So I mixed in a few pigments with all of these. Um, I'm going to try a little bit brighter purple instead of this dioxinine purple, which is a beautiful, it's one of my favorite colors, but for contrast. Um, if you want to get like a really great purple, like a bright, beautiful violet purple, I, I don't think dioxinine is the way to go. <clears throat> Myself personally because it, it just dries so dark, but it's a beautiful dark purple. Um, you just need to know that going into it, that it's not gonna dry as bright. Uh, I mean, all paints really dry darker than uh, when they're wet. I mean, even house paint, like when you're painting your house or painting your walls, you're like, oh, that's pretty, and then it dries and it's darker. All right, so I'm gonna start with just pouring my pillow paint, which is the Sherwin Williams color to go. It's just their sample paint. It's satin. It's a nice thick viscosity. So by that I mean it's not a thin pillow paint. It's real thick. It's gonna sit there and let some of the color sit on it for a while, not drop down in it. And so I really like it. Um, some people like thin it down. They'll add water or Floetrol or whatever to it, but I like it just kind of as is. So for the rocks, I like to kind of color it all over. I think I'm going to do maybe orange, yellow, red, purple. All right, so let's do this. <laughs> let's 
You got to be kind of fast with the rocks. So I'm gonna, you're gonna see my head. I'm sorry to say, but that's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna kind of go right along here with my orange, yellow. Red, purple. Okay, now we're gonna put our cell activator down and probably in two segments. So I'm gonna put it here and blow this way. And then I'm gonna put some on the other side and I can Intentionally leave a little bit there if I want. So that I can have this kind of river. Which is what I kind of want. I kind of want that river in between. Because he was definitely going for that. So let's swap out. That looks pretty cool. I'll put that there. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So now what if I do that in exactly the opposite order? What if I do purple, red, yellow, orange? Let's try that, shall we? <laughs> yes, we shall. Okay. So now, <clears throat> let's do some purple along here. Then red, yellow, orange, uh-oh, <laughs> I feel like I'm losing her. Let's start off on this side. Little bit here. Again, I want to kind of leave that river in between because he was going for that river of color in between his two, in between his color uh, pores. So now what I'm going to try, I think the red on the bottom. with the yellow on the top. So let's do red, orange, purple, yellow. Boy, I could get some real brown. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Maybe I should do, well, let's just see what happens. I mean, I'm kind of getting some brownsy colors anyway, so let us see with these last two. But I just want to mix up the colors and the orders on these three rocks. Use the same colors, but just pour them in different a different order. Okay. You do have to move kind of fast on these rocks because they keep, you know, this one's definitely going to tilt off all that way. And you know what? I know I'm going to need a little more down here. All right. Don't get too panicky because your cell activator is still going to go. Let's just go right here. Can move it a little bit. Oh, it definitely made some kind of green, the purple and yellow. I see like green in here. <coughs> going to leave that little river. Now, I definitely could have 
put that cell activator right next to it or put the cell activator a little bit more right in the middle and just blown out around. But we were intentionally trying to create, leave a river of color in between our two like cell activator pores. So um, those are fun. Those are the colors we wanted to try. Um, I don't know. I think I like that red down on the bottom with the yellow on top. I really like that red, but I don't know. I really like that purple. I think the one I liked the least was the orange on the bottom and purple on the top. It got a little muted. It, But it turned into like a prism violet, you know, like that Liquitex prism violet color. That's the, the color that that turned into, whereas this one turned into like a blue violet. Very pretty. Um, I've got a nice stripe down here. So let me bring you down and just have a quick look at the three rocks. This one was the orange, yellow, red, purple. This one was purple, red, orange, yellow, right? Exact opposite order. That was orange, red, yellow, purple. So then it was purple, yellow, red, orange. And then this one was red, yellow, no, red, orange, purple, yellow. So I think pretty successful, all of them, leaving that river in between. I got some nice cells. And these cells, they're going to keep stretching and pulling because of the gravity of the shape of the rock, the roundness and everything. And it's just going to keep um, stretching even as just time goes on. So don't worry. I mean, if that looks a little small, which I kind of like them small, but they're not really going to stay that small. They're going to keep stretching because gravity is going to do a number on them. And those are going to get really big. Those ones are as far as. So I'll just show you the rocks that we did yesterday. Me and two adult grown men. <laughs> In fact, even my husband did one. And I feel really bad because I dropped some paint on it. This one. My husband did that one. And I, we did a swipe at the end of the night and I dropped some paint. But okay. So here are... Paolo's he had some really fantastic ones look at that and then Jacob's were here he did a lot of sunset colors and here he was trying to get the purples pinks oranges reds and just didn't quite get the oh I love his purple one though and then these ones are mine I did a lot of like teals kind of sunset colors here with the white and the black and then some, some earth tones here, like gold and teal green. But we were also, we also did some flower pots. And so he was doing the purple, orange, red. And it really, um, let's see if I can get you down here to see it. But here, it just got really dark. So that's why I thought I'd try a little bit um, brighter purple. Because, you know, when it's wet, that's still wet, the bottom of it. And that's what it looked like. But it dries very dark. And then Paolo did a flower pot also. Beautiful blues and whites. This turned out nice. And then I did a vase from the dollar store. And I just wanted to do a blue and white vase. So we didn't do these in the Sheely Art Technique. We just mixed up some different paints um, with just glue and water, really. So those were our other projects. And uh, I just thought I'd finish these three rocks. I hope you liked watching this video. It's pretty fun. The rocks are pretty fun. I just get my rocks from like, uh, if you just Google or if you go to Amazon and put in craft rocks, you, I got black ones and white ones just to give it a try. And so I could leave them around um, our neighborhood and direct them to a show that I was going to be having at Eli T. But then COVID hit and I didn't get to have it. And I was going to say, hey, lucky you, you found a beautiful rock. Come check out more of my work at Eli T and have a tea while you're at it. And just didn't pan out. But um, if you're watching this, you live in the Birmingham, Michigan era, area, you should go see Eli T and grab a tea and support the local small business. So um, in the meantime, I hope everyone had fun watching this and give it a thumbs up if you did. And uh, subscribe to my channel. We'll try some new things. But just so you know, you can always leave me suggestions to try different techniques or um, silhouettes of famous people you want me to try. Um, like I did a Marilyn Monroe one here. 
I'll do silhouettes. Um, but you can also ask me to do over a pour. You can also ask for different color palettes. And I'll try different color palettes. So uh, you can leave them in the suggestions if you want. But I'm going to be going on vacation for three weeks, so I won't get to it for a bit. But if I have a bunch of suggestions waiting for me when I come back, that would be super awesome. And until I see you again, everyone have fun painting. Okay? Bye.